Hello, my name is Jamie Terrell. I work for the Titanic Museum Attraction. I'm going to tell you the story of Milvina Dean, the youngest and oldest passenger on the Titanic. Hmm. Wow, this is just a little baby that I'm going to tell you about. Only nine weeks old. A baby baby. Well, she's going to be in third class. She's with mommy, daddy, and her one-year-old little brother. They've sold everything, and now they're coming over to America, and they are going to Wichita, Kansas. Daddy's going to open a tobacco shop, and they're going to start a brand new life here in America. Well, everything was going fine until it wasn't. Now then, they're on the Titanic, and it's complete and utter chaos. It's women and children only into the lifeboats. Now the mother is able to get into the lifeboat with little Bertram, the brother who's one year old, and little Milvina, who's only nine weeks old. The father wouldn't go. Well, they make it onto the rescue ship, the Carpathia. You see, they're gonna be on the rescue ship for three long days. It's gonna take them that long to get to America. Well, the rescue ship, they didn't really have enough room for all of these extra 700 plus people they take on, including this tiny little baby. But they rationed all of the blankets and all of the clothes and all of the food. And everyone was so sad about what had happened on the Titanic. And then they saw this little baby, little Milvina, only nine weeks old and so beautiful, wrapped in a little blanket. And everyone would line up for turns to hold Milvina. It became such a long line that the captain and the officers actually have to come out and designate that it can only be 10 minutes per person that you can hold Lil Melvina D. Well, she was in third class and she survived the Titanic at nine weeks old. She became known as Titanic's Miracle Baby. Well, they get to New York City. Now, when the rescue ship arrives, it's about 9.30 at night, and a thunderstorm is rolling in. And they've lost everything. Everything they had, everything they packed up. And the mother, she's only left with just a nine-week-old baby and a one-year-old little boy. Father's not there. He didn't make it. They lost all their clothes, all their money, everything. Well, there were people there at the docks who were sort of organizing donations, and someone had brought a little wicker suitcase full of a little bit of food, a few changes of clothes, and some baby clothes. And that's all the mother had. So imagine her standing there, dark, 9.30 at night. The rain is starting to drizzle. She's holding that little wicker suitcase. She's got nine week old Milvina in the crook of her arm. And then she's trying to hold on to another little one-year-old boy who's running around everywhere. And her heart has to be sinking. She's lost the daddy. He's not going to be with them. They're not going to start this brand new life in America. We're just a day before. Everything was perfect. And they were thinking about their new future as a family. She's going to have to go back. And she did. Now the children, Milvina, the little nine-week-old, she wouldn't realize she was Titanic's miracle baby until she was about nine or ten years old. They had a wonderful long life. And Milvina, you know, she actually lived to be 97 years old. She would end up being the last living survivor. She passed away on May 31st, 2009. Now that date, May 31st, that's the exact day Titanic was launched into the water. A cosmic connection? We'll never know. Now about that suitcase. You see, Melvina, later in life, she had some difficulties and she needed some nursing help. And she was going to go into a nursing home. And she couldn't afford for the rest of her nursing bills. So she was going to have to sell some of her Titanic artifacts, including that little wicker suitcase. Well, you know, the director of the movie, Jim Cameron, and the two actors, Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, and Celine Dion, who has the beautiful song, My Heart Will Go On. Well, they heard about her plight. And they thought, no, no, we have to step in. And they did. They stepped in and they paid for her nursing the entire rest of her life. She lived to be 97 years old. She was the youngest passenger on board and the oldest at the very end, Melvina Dean, Titanic's Miracle Baby.
Milvina Dean actually had a long, happy life. Um, she never married and she never had any kids, but she loved being around kids. And, you know, she would be featured on a lot of documentaries um, telling the story about her being a nine-week-old baby on board. Of course, they were stories that her mother had handed down to her. But no, she never married, never had kids, but she enjoyed being around children. Melvina Dean is an adult. She did all sorts of wonderful things. She was at all sorts of speaking engagements. And you know what? Um, she wrote a few poems and she did all sorts of things like that. She loved to write and she loved to speak. And you can find her on a lot of Titanic documentaries as an older lady. Of course, when people see her as an older lady, they imagine her as being much older on Titanic. Little do they know, she was just a tiny nine-week-old baby on the Titanic in 1912.